Thank you very much. Uh, business itself is a practice, and uh, we are academicians looking for our theories. So sometimes it doesn't. There's a gap. That's a big problem, I think. Uh, okay. Now uh, we'd like to listen to uh, what happened in the collaboration session by Professor Vincent Chan. Please uh, uh, give him a warm applause. Um, it's really my great honor to represent uh, a group of very fine uh, uh, academic uh, to present uh, this for the to present them uh, uh, for the discussion that we have in the collaboration meetings. And uh, this is what I can recall. Uh, if I uh, if I missed your institution, please excuse my memory. And so, as you see, we have the. Uh, our group actually is very, very well represented. We have the, uh, uh, we're from Asia, and then uh, Australia, South Pacific, uh, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, Taiwan, and also uh, two universities from the States. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, we basically starting from uh, ask uh, the participants sharing with uh, their collaboration experience, uh, talking about why, what, why, why, why they want to uh, have the collaboration program, and really uh, what are the results, or I should say, what are the achievements, and uh, what kind of challenges are, are they facing. So, so this is uh, um, sort of the, the summary of our discussion. Uh, many of us uh, really emphasize the importance of globalization or I should say internationalization. And actually some of us actually saying uh, globalization is not enough. You have to have, uh, you, st you still have to make it local relevant. So, so I think one of our participants called this phrase, uh, globalization, I mean globalization and localizations. And basically in the, in the content of Asia, Asia Pacific, uh, we are talking about a uh, uh, particular you know, from our home uh, uh, university, our host here. Uh, uh, one of their program is pretty much emphasizing on global leader uh, with Asia perspective, with Asia theory, with Asia training, and uh, and also um, uh, a few of our colleagues uh, stress on the uh, relevance of the exchange pro uh, 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 collaboration program. So you basically have to uh, have this, this, actually at least four R there, but actually it's three R, three R and another three R. Uh, so uh, two of our colleagues, one proposed that uh, the three R that she has considered in, uh, for her universities uh, are reputation, re revenue, and ranking, and uh, and the other uh, colleague basically saying they have uh, they have uh, three R as well, but different three R is uh, reputation, re revenue, and uh, and relevance. Relevance meaning it has to be relevant to. Uh, to in terms of global setting, local setting, as well as uh, other uh, stakeholders as well. But nevertheless, I mean, you look at all this three R or four R, they are highly correlated. So if you improve one R, uh, inevitably you will enhance the other one R or two R or three Rs. Uh, and uh, uh, one of the, uh, um, uh, the participants basically brought up a, a very interesting program, which I'm, I, will, I will present on his behalf briefly. And that particular program actually is facing a trade-off between one of the R, facing a trade-off between reputation and revenue for a short-term basis. So meaning in a short run, um, it's a re uh, reputation enhancing uh, initiative, but, but, but it's, it's sort of like a money losing initiative as well for the short run. Okay. So, so this is sort of uh, what we come up with, why, why, why do we want to do collaborations? So uh, our participants basically sharing uh, their successful story, uh, or, or I should say the achievement or results. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, from uh, Korea University Business School, a uh, so-called SQ, uh, which I will elaborate a little bit because it's very interesting and it's very innovative. Um, and then, uh, and also um, uh, we talk about community outreach. See the uh, KUSB SQ, that is read really on the, uh, academic level, and so um, our uh, one of our participants saying that you know uh, the collaboration uh, should not be limited just to uh, to uh, on the academic level. So it's uh, it's community outreach. How are we going to reach to a local community? And so um, uh, she proposed uh, quite a very innovative uh, initiative from her universities. And basically, at the end, it's saying to the university, to the company, say, look. You know, you got the quality consulting services with affordable prices, so you don't have to pay the speed bar to McKinsey. 
And then uh, from a student standpoint, uh, basically uh, they, uh, they, uh, they are solving the real world problem and uh, that may lead to a, a future permanent job offer. So, so this is a really win-win proposition. Um, and then, so we sort of move on uh, uh, in terms of uh, collaborate uh, uh, to uh, uh, a beyond academic setting uh, to all the uh, community. We also move on to talking about collaboration ac across different geography. And then one of our uh, uh, colleagues basically commenting about his school's uh, strategy uh, in terms of collaborate, collaborating with universities in Asia, in Latin America, and also in Europe as well. And basically, uh, he made a comment that uh, not, one size does not fit all, but his school come up with a very coherent strategy, try to, try to tailor map, you know, to have a coherent strategy, at the same time try to tailor map to, uh, uh, I would say, the, uh, the, their partner schools, depending on where they are located. Uh, unfortunately, we, uh, we didn't have time to, 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 to discuss further. Um, and then finally, uh, uh, one of our participation, uh, one of our participant basically brought up this uh, collaboration, uh, not just be, beyond business and, and, and across geography, but also cross sector toward business and academia. And then, uh, so um, uh, the uh, one of our colleague from Australia um, I mentioned about it's been quite successful. They have this so-called Asian dialogue. Uh, it's a series of dialogue. It's a dialogue uh, between Australia University and initially with a uh, Chinese university, and I think they are going to start with the Japanese, Korean, Indonesia as well. So, so this is kind of the, the samples. This is really pretty much the samples of, uh, uh, I would say, the achievements of, uh, of uh, uh, from the, our uh, participants. So, uh, I'm going to uh, kind of share with you briefly, in a brief manner, uh, with you about a very interesting and innovative uh, program. It's called uh, KUBS SQ. I know most of our KUBS uh, faculty member here, but you know, I found this very interesting, so I'd like to share with you. And then, of course, with the permission of Professor Yu, uh, uh, the following, uh, actually, his, uh, his uh, PowerPoints. So, so this is a... Uh, this is a very interesting collaboration uh, uh, for three universities, uh, one in uh, Korea, uh, Korea University, and one in China, Fudan University, and, uh, and the other one is Singapore, NUS. And uh, the reason they call this S cube is it's interesting. Uh, they're located in the three cities. They all start with the initial S. So that's, why, that's where the S cube comes from, S to a power of three, S cube. So, um, so uh, sort of the... Uh, the advantage of this program is basically two degree. So a student is allowed to own a degree from his home institution plus another one from the, uh, uh, the another uh, uh, partner institution. So for instance, a Korea student, a home institution is, is in Korea, then he or she can choose to earn another degree from China or Singapore. So uh, the curriculum is, um, as Professor Yui Kram, is real global, real Asia. It's basically uh, the core curriculums are very much share uh, among all the important MBA programs, but with uh, some elective, which are Asian-oriented elective courses. And so two more home time, of course, you know, in addition to home, there are two more home. And, and, uh, um, and also uh, the students have a chance to get employed in the, across the Asia-Pacific region. And of course, Global Alumni Network, as is quite appealing. So uh, this is kind of a bit detail, uh, which I think is interesting to share as well. Uh, as you see, they, uh, uh, they have uh, different academic, uh, so admission requirement, and also different uh, tuition. Uh, so this actually poses a very, very big challenges. So, uh, so I really admire uh, uh, this three university to be able to put this, through, uh, this program through. And so in terms of career development, it's basically a division of labor. Each university will take care, take care of uh, 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 a subset of the uh, career functions that, uh, that business school is supposed to, to offer. Okay. So Fudan, it's on the front end, and then uh, National University of Singapore is uh, in the back end. Okay, okay so, so, so that is kind of pretty much uh, uh, something that I want to share with you. Uh, we also talk about challenges. The challenge, the, 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 the challenge pretty much everybody agree is number one is cost. And cost is not, it's, it's in terms of management costs. It's in terms of the time you have to devote to, to manage this program. It's also in terms of talented uh, employer to keep. I think one of our participants mentioned that uh, uh, she has lost, a, lost a nobody even uh, without pay raise in the five years. So this is, uh, this is the dedication of the people you have to do for. So there is a cost side. 
course, also in terms of tuitions, also in terms of tuition, uh, one of the participants mentioned that uh, the, uh, the, 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 I think one of her, the joint degree program that her university was thinking is the tuition is way too high. It's become prohibitive to the students. So, so this is really a challenge they posed to, um, to, 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 uh, for this kind of initiative. And the other thing is I want to mention about the, this SQ program. Uh, SQ program, I don't know whether, I think it's probably okay to share. It's, uh, it's been a money-making uh, initiative so far in the short run, but I think it's a reputation building, and I believe, I personally believe, and I think uh, Korea University B School believe as well, in the long run, this probably will be, because uh, you know, you know, when you improve one R, you will have a positive feedback to the other R. So the cost. The, uh, the second challenge is that all, all issues are really the languages. And I think this is a, a, a particular challenge to, uh, to the school in Asia. Uh, I think to, uh, I'm from China, and this is a challenge to my school as well. And I think uh, the challenge to uh, actually, uh, one of our participants, he's from Vietnam, and he said uh, the student there, their second language are either Russian or Chinese. So, and because uh, the, we, we, also we always consider English is pretty much the business language, so it, it's, it's very challenging for them. It's very challenging for them. And then uh, also the other challenge is really the imbalance of exchange program. Uh, basically, you know, imbalance meaning talking about the net headcount. Exchange out, exchange in, uh, it's imbalance. And this is continued to be a challenge to, to most of us. And I think one of our uh, group participants that basically mentioned the, uh, the norm of exchange program is uh, the, the student home, pay home institution tuition. And then he proposed, I think in his university, they change it. They say the student pay a partner university's tuition. So in, that, in this case, they sort of, you know, sort of the, 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 try to minimize the, the impact of the imbalance. Um, but I think this remains a big challenge to us. And I think uh, also one thing, uh, it's not in the PowerPoint, is the employment. It's employment. Uh, the, uh, from the SQ program, uh, a lot of students, not a lot, uh, many uh, students, they actually express their interest in working in Singapore. Uh, so, 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 so Singapore sort of get this uh, a bit of unbalanced uh, uh, desire for the employment. And also from my own institution experience, uh, we have a lot of international students. And um, so, because our, our school do not require Mandarin Chinese, so we always thought when they came, they want to go back to their home country, but turned out when they, after they came, they want to stay in China. So they actually create a big challenge for us as well, Try how to press them in China, and keep this in mind, they do not speak Mandarin. They do not, they do not speak Mandarin. So this is um, a challenge. Uh, to, and last thing I want to mention is, uh, it's really uh, uh, challenging, it's really something beyond business. Uh, one of our colleagues uh, actually played a, a very touching uh, video clip, uh, uh, basically talking about the, uh, um, the, uh, the remind us not to forget uh, uh, the unfortunate ones, and that ones is in billions. Those people who earn you know, uh, less than a dollar per day salary, those people who do not have clean water, etc., etc. So that so, so sort of makes us uh, thinking about, you know, ultimately, what, 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 what is the purpose of a collaboration? And what is the purpose of business school education? And what can we do as a business school dean and professors? So on that, I, I'd like to thank uh, um, all of the participants in, uh, in this morning's discussion. And I so, I'd like to uh, thank the, uh, the, uh, my, uh, our, uh, my student assistant who prepared this PowerPoint. And, uh, uh, and I'm happy to represent them to the rest of you. Thank you.